the automobile is the single most important change agent in our lives. It has created the modern world the way it is. And in creating the modern world, it tells us about where we're going. Not only is the automobile a great lens, it becomes a great unifier. How culture has evolved, how elements of society have evolved. Each one of those questions can, in part, be teased out by just the right clip of film that may involve an automobile. My vision of the Revs Institute is a place that is a repository of resources for people who are interested in the automobile. And then, by definition, a place that is effective in advancing the agenda that the automobile is a worthy object of study both as a change agent and as a worthy object worth studying in and of itself. Cars that have a huge emotional impact are also cars that are marinated in history. And they display those marks of history on them. The car as a document is a way of thinking about the historic nature of the object. It shows more about its making, about its use, about its travel through time to the present. And all of these elements of its history are impounded in the physical fabric of the object itself. You can extract an enormous amount of information to correspond to documentary history, photographs, papers, journals, and so on, to enable you to, to tie the car back. If we look at the elements of the automobile, the dings, the marks, the patina, the changes, the evidence of crash, the evidence of modifications, these are all part of a narrative that we extract from the underlying physical document. So conservation, historicity, connoisseurship, legacy. These are the kinds of things that we continually massage. The movement towards recognizing the history and the historic importance of old cars is something that's come about fairly recently. But there always needs to be some catalysts, and I think that that's one of the accomplishments that we are very proud of here institutionally for having done. Today, the view is that if someone has a miraculously preserved original car that may look a little bit tatty, that we all recognize it is vastly more valuable than the most beautifully restored similar example. And the market now reflects that. Cars represent the legacy of people who went before them. What are you going to do with them as part of your legacy? And what will the legacy of these cars mean to the general culture? The idea of connoisseurship is that relatively small differences among a series of objects makes for very large differences in intrinsic or historic or artistic value. What's its proportions? What's its you know, length to height? And then beyond form, because it's not just a sculpture, it's, it's a movable working device, is what's the technologic underpinnings of this thing? The collection here consists of the benchmark, landmark, transcendent, confections that embody all that's great in the human mind and spirit and that are indeed the old masters of the automotive world. When an object incorporates all that's great in the human mind and spirit, something happens to that object that takes it beyond its utility. 
The issue of legacy is important with the automobile. Our culture, our society is largely formed by the automobile. We are a society that is based on the idea of mobility, whether it's geographic mobility or social mobility. The best word to describe the role of the automobile historically has been transformative. The world was one way before the automobile and it was very much another way after the automobile. The way we have changed uh, how we live from a, a rural urban dichotomy now to a pervasive suburbia. The idea of superstores, uh, shopping centers, and all of these kinds of things are absolutely dependent upon auto mobility on behalf of the customers. Automobiles transform the cities, cities transform the automobile. We think the best approach is to create a relationship with colleges and universities and lay the ground for the significance of the automobile through the academy. The role of REVS is to be a resource, to promote conversations that redound to the benefit of the old car community and the public at large. If the identity of our culture and the underpinnings of our culture and the values of our culture are important, then understanding one of its major supports, one of its major defining technologies, the automobile, becomes very important to everybody.